Do you have bad internet? And you use Wi-Fi? Here's how you fix it. Or make it better. So do you have bad internet? And you use... So you... And so they... Alright, so the first thing that you're going to do is um, find a clip. Um, and here we're going to put the text behind Gutero. So um, in order to do that, first um, you're going to go to the beginning of the clip. And then you're going to add a vector drawing. There you go. And just trim it. So, and then you're gonna go to the shape layer, go to color and fill, and select this. There you go. And now you're just gonna zoom in to the character. There you go. So it's much easier to trace. Because basically, what you're gonna do is go to the shape, go to edit points, and then basically just trace the character out it might take some time depending on the clip but uh, you have to be patient All right, so um, we're at uh, so far. We're at uh, we have this, okay. And since the the clip is only going to be, I mean the text. My bad. The text is only going to be uh, around this part. So let's say I'm gonna add a text here. Let's just add random words, uh, letters, and then do that. Just an example. Um, the text is going to be around this part. Alright. As you can see, it doesn't go all the way up here in the clip. So, um, what we're going to do is go back to edit points. There you go. And then, in instead of just going all the way, tracing out all the way here, we're just going to skip it and then just uh, go here instead just skip all the way here because it doesn't matter because um text is not gonna reach this part here so it's fine it's only around this part so yeah we gotta we gotta uh, mask this put uh, points here so uh, let's continue Also, it doesn't need to be uh, perfect, actually. Um, it's fine, even if it's not really perfect. As long as it's not that noticeable, it's fine. Because, you know, the rules, if it's not noticeable, then don't fix it. Alright? And then from this part, I think we can skip again. Maybe add another point here. Right, so from this part, we're going to skip all the way here. Since the text, again, the text is not going to reach there. But we do have to mask this out as well.
one thing you could also do is when you have like uh curves like this one um wait let me show you like this one right here you have curves like this um one thing you could do about that is put a point at the uh at the first end of that curve and then put a point as well at the other end of the curve about here and then you're gonna move uh this slide it down like this and then once it goes to the middle you just add another point there and there you go uh, and then after that you're going to press this and then as you can see it creates a curve line um, now you can just adjust it and again it doesn't have to be perfect so I'm gonna go with that and yeah let's continue we're almost done and there you go so now once you're at the uh, at your last point all you gotta do is just go here click this and then click on this there you go and that connects it all and now you just zoom out so you could see the original size or you could just leave the project and then go back again and then here it is here's our uh, our shape now um, as you can see we uh, have a moving clip it's a twixter clip it's not just a still image so um, what we're going to do is since this is still it's not moving we're gonna make it move so um, in the clip you could see that the character is coming closer um, so it means that he's getting bigger so um, in the shape layer we're going to make it bigger like so just a little bit so it could match the clip and I think that is good now um, next thing that you're going to do go to color and fill and then um, select this there you go so you can see the uh, the color and now duplicate the clip go to shape and then go to blending and opacity and then click on mask and select mask there you go and then um, you're going to select this and this and group that together and now you have this piece right here and now from here it's pretty much very basic um, you just put the text uh, in between these two layers so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and oops not that just gonna go ahead and use the text the same text I used in the edit all right I got the text and here's the text okay I can actually change the speed of that so we can go a bit longer but I don't think we could exceed that so we'll just trim it there you go if you want to know how to make this text um, I actually got it from a video a different video and I just took the uh, the preset of it and use and then I just edited it and uh, put a different word I'll link the video in the description alright so if you want to have this text then just go to there but anyways once you have the, your text um, you're going to put it between these both layers and as you can see boom there you have it um, as you can see the text is going uh, behind the character 
like so pretty easy you could also do the same thing for uh, Tanjiro um, but that's up to you I'm not gonna do that anymore <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, peace.